Okay, I usually don't do videos, but I go on YouTube and I watch, try to watch videos that are educational, stuff that I can uh, that can help me out with projects that I do. Uh, by no means am I a professional of any kind. Um, I have a 2005 F350, and the bed is completely falling off of it. I mean, it's toast. It's beyond repairable. I got this bed from a buddy of mine for 300 bucks. Now, it's not the best, but bed sides are good on it. The only thing that was really wrong with it is, of course, the cross members were rotted out. And, you know, a couple holes there, somebody cut out a hole here, I got a patch. Not looking for anything perfect, just something solid so I could throw stuff in my bed and it's not going to fall off or fall through it. And The bed was cheap enough to where, you know, I got my cross rails on Amazon for 300 bucks with the new bolts for the bed. Um, you know, the videos that I was trying to find was, what's the easiest way to get the bed rails off of a Super Duty bed? And, I guess that goes for any bed, but... People were saying air hammer and stuff like that. I, I used a grinder and, uh, you know, I, I used a drill. I also have this fancy little grinder here. Tried that for a little bit, but there's a bunch of spot welds on it, so it's going to take you forever. I found the best way to do it is just drill them out. Get a nice bit. It only took me maybe one battery on my Milwaukee to drill all these out. I mean, every single one. The front one, a little bit of a chore. There's a lot of spot welds in it, you know. You got them, you got them down through here on the back side, up here on the front, on the bed, and on the bulkhead of the bed. So, drilling it out, it only took me maybe a couple hours to get them all off and get everything uh, prepped. And then I, I took a flat disc on a grinder nothing fancy just typical harbor freight and i went and scaled everywhere the cross members were that was really bad i even got down in the wheel wells here that are a little bad and then i put a rust killer on it let it sit overnight and you can see it turned it more of a gray and i still have some little rust areas so i went and picked up a couple cans of the rust reformer and I'm just spraying that on where the cross members are going to go. And then I'll hit weld through primer on it where my cross rails are. Tape them off and then I'm going to do a rust free rubberized undercoating. Now it's not my first choice. I would recommend a POR 15 or something like that. But it's very expensive and I don't really care too much about it. I'm just wanting it to last me if you know five years maybe max i mean it is what it is it's a cheap bed i i don't i don't think i'm gonna have a problem with doing everything that i'm doing just cleaning it up to slow it down that it's not gonna last um it's a fairly easy process i highly recommend if you have the time you know by time i get my bed patch panels to fix the holes there the hole over there uh you know I might I might have almost $500 in the in the thing plus the purchase of the bed. You know, the rails over there like I said 300 and some dollars on Amazon with the bolts, not bad. But you can get a whole floor section with the cross members on it minus the front one here for $500 from the dealer. And you know, already this is loose. So all you got to do is go down and drill all these spot welds down the side. There's a, quite a few on the back there, and the whole floor will drop out. And then you can get your new floor, drop it in, weld it. You don't have to dick around with the cross members. And I kind of wish I would have gone that route now, uh, did, doing what I did. It was a lot of extra work. You know, you don't have to drill all that shit out. And it, it would have probably been about the same amount of time to do it that way and i would have virtually had a rest free bed so it, it's it is what it is it's okay but i was trying to find videos on how to get the cross members off and easiest routes and nobody really has a detailed video 
you know, showing and explaining what it takes or what's the easiest route, but that's personal opinion. It didn't take me that long to do this. So, and like I said, by no means am I a professional. I, I do not do it for a living. So I uh, do carpentry. So I guess it goes to show that it's, it's really not that complicated. So anybody that's, that's thinking about giving it a shot or wanting to give it a shot, that's what this whole video is about. I, I would recommend doing it. It's really not that hard. You're going to pay somebody a lot of money to do this. Uh, you know, and rust-free beds for me where I'm at are about two grand for a short bed used. So, and they're not even that nice. So you want to get into a nicer one, they're about three grand. So I just didn't want to spend that. The truck's really not worth it. Um, that's just my two cents. I mean, I'll show you guys the truck. It's sitting outside here, but the bed doesn't look that bad but the guy I got it from it was uh he bond odor up pretty good and didn't do a bad job but like this all here is is full of bondo i mean it was up to here rotted out and didn't do a bad job but i mean it's i took my toolbox off and the bedside fell off i mean there's all the spot welts down the front are gone and the wheel walls are pretty pretty toast i mean i got lumber in the bed now but i got pretty big holes in her and body lines aren't bad but it was down probably four or five inches when i got it and i just wedged some two by fours up in there but you know it's 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 pretty it's pretty gone and even under here i mean i don't have any metal anymore so i can't even put a ladder rack or bolt anything down to it so now i gotta do it the old hard way and stack all my ladders in there would be nice to would be nice to put a ladder rack on it at one time but i needed a solid foundation to do that and there she is and it was only 300 bucks so anybody that wants to do it i recommend it that's all this video is about and i hope you guys give it a shot and i hope this video helps